Hello guys, up at the pot, up at the plots. And they said pots again there. Up at the plots. And there's Hilda's mix from our good friend Alan at the Dawn Chorus plot. Sorry I'm starting these late, I know, but uh, better late than never, eh? That's Kelly at Kelly's Kitchen Garden. Kelly Bramble, a fantastic human being. And that's Rob, Rob Hart from Ession's Family Garden. Oh, they're in the US of A. He's a top of banana, Rob. And so are the little, uh, the little sapper SGs and his missus. And for Rob, we're going to be doing the Okra Red Velvet and the uh, Peanuts. Jumbo Virginian. No idea how to do them, so I'm just going to start them off as I normally would, but uh, I'll research that. Right, let's get cracking. Now that's a Jumbo Virginian Peanut. Hopefully, with our fingers crossed, soon to be the first peanut plant known to this parish. A Wigan Peanut. <sighs> So I'm putting them into these two, these uh, three inch parts. Just push them down. There, probably about their own length below the surface. And then cover them up, making sure there's good contact with the compost. Just, yeah, topped off the compost there. So I'm going to give them a drink. You need more, more of a drink than that, don't you, boys? Oh. We'll let that seep all the way through. And uh, then it's going to join its friends in there, and I'll put in uh, two to a station of those. Those Virginian. Jumbos from Rob Ession's family garden. Rob, also from Rob, we've got the okra. Now, the okra is red velvet okra. Having never grown okra in my life, then uh, it's a totally new thing for me. This, as is, as is the peanuts, and those are the seeds that are in there. I'll show you the seeds. Yeah, so those are okra. Or okra seeds and um, Rob harvested them from his own uh, his own crop for us last year back in the last year so we'll see how we get on with them I don't believe in my life I've ever even tasted okra but we're gonna be growing it that's for sure in that uh, sort of five spots on a dice pattern we're going to put them in there to get them started off and then they'll get their own little pot and be potted on and then uh, we'll take it from there whether they're going to be planted out or growing on inside the polytunnel or the greenhouse i don't know again more research so yeah there's our usa tray from uh, rob hart at essions family garden essions rob the last ticket in so remember, boys and girls, there are five to each station there, and two peanuts to each station there. Really hope they come through those. I think it's cool. Lady Stark of Winterfell sent us down several seeds, but I know for sure that these were from her own crop. The original seeds she picked up in Bravosi, and they were shipped across by a Bravosi trader. So we've got some cobra beans there from Kelly Bramall at Kelly's Kitchen Garden, a superb young lady with a fantastic family and fella. And we're going to be putting those into two pots, probably five to a station in the same way that I've just done with the okra. So we'll crack on with that. Yeah, I've decided to put two per pot, quite a big bean, aren't they? So uh, I'll just push them down with my finger, just up to the first knuckle. Like this. Cover them up. 
ensuring contact. Tell you about the camera work. Sure, this is riveting TV for you. And get those in. Again, as Monty Don always says, we give him a good drink. So let that go through until it comes out the other end. Feed it from the top with the water until it trickles down the other end. And plenty. That was another seed there. I think there is. It's like some sort of a. Uh, Hello? Pack choice seed or something. Right, so I'll do that with all those and we'll get them in. All watered. Would you look at that? And I can't even tell them off because they're keeping a good social distance there. Little bar stewards. A quartet of bar stewards. And there they are all in. So they've got the Dawn Chorus plot, Alan's Dawn Chorus plot, um, Hilda's mix of sweet peas, as you can see there, and Lady Stark of Winterfell, which is Kelly Bramall on Kelly's Kitchen Garden, and there are cobras in there, and then Rob's Giant Peanuts and Red Velvet Okra. Thanks very much, guys. Very, very much appreciated. I'll be storing these and seeing if um, Uncle Joe and... Uh, Magical Mick want them. I've run out of the Cobras though because there's only eight in there. Kelly sent us hundreds of seeds and so did Rob. But I've only planted those ones today and planted the other ones up. But I just thought I'd uh, put this one up as a thank you. And thank you very much as well for the Hilda's mix of sweet peas there from Alan. <laughs> Great stuff. Thanks a lot. Cheers lads and lassies. Anyway, that's me for the morning. I'm going to be going off and uh, going on a bit of an adventure with the boys. They're climbing the walls. So we're going to go on a secret mystery trip keeping well away from people, our social dis distances and all that. And, uh, yeah, just getting some fresh air for them out in the, uh, out in the countryside. We're going to collect some firewood, firewood, I think, and I'll show them how to do a fire later on. So, yeah, top bananas. See you after, boys and girls. Ta-da now.